welcome to another weekly vlog. So, I'm actually just taking five minutes. I got myself a coffee, a little snack, and I have my tablet here, so I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube. I'm just gonna chill out because, oh, to be honest, I have to be honest, I don't talk about it much, but oh, my mental health has just been shot this week, and I definitely feel like oh, <laughs> my patients have been tested to their limits. Now Mercury goes direct the 25th of April and I swear to God, I'm not counting down lies. I'm totally counting down because I can't wait. I'm so sick of it. I genuinely am so, so sick of it. I stopped that kind of abruptly. But anyway, I had my small little munch and some coffee and I actually started watching Loey, Loey Bug. I used to watch her years ago and then I kind of just stopped and now I'm watching her again and I, I love her channel. Uh, it's all paranormal and like she does paranormal TikToks now, TikToks now I think um well, that's what the one I was watching but she also did like her own paranormal experiences which I love if you didn't know I originally started this channel doing paranormal stories especially within Ireland because Ireland is like steeped steeped in history and unexplained places and events and stuff like that and I did cover because I know ghost adventures I used to love them at one point oh well, hold on I used to love them at one point but then they kind of got as they normally do when it comes to like paranormal investigators I mean uh, I have so many views on this I don't know how many people um watch paranormal things or spooky spooky scary skeletons on you know in their own lives and stuff but like I remember like I used to watch Ghost Adventures and what was the other one Most Haunted was another one and I just I loved all those but especially Ghost Hunters no Ghost Adventures there was another one as well actually as a kid we used to watch Mystery Hunters it used to be on was it Discovery Kids or something I'm not 100% sure but I remember as a kid I used to love that I used to love that so so much um but yeah, I originally used to cover paranormal stories here in Ireland and I don't know, I don't really know why I stopped because I love doing them, but they just, they do take a lot of time. They take a lot of research and looking into things. And I remember I covered, that's my dog, I covered Loftus Hall, which is down in Waterford. Now, some of the details are kind of hazy to me because it's been a long time since I've covered that and things like that. But, but, it was a couple of years ago, it was sold and they made it into a hotel. And I have to say, like, I'm so annoyed about that because, <laughs> one, haunted, and two, that is a building that should have been just protected, I personally think, more so than used as a hotel. So... I'll admit, like, I'm annoyed. I think I'm more annoyed at the fact that I didn't go down and see it before it got turned into a hotel. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, it shouldn't have, personally, in my opinion, be turned into a hotel. But, yeah, I mean, I used to love um, Ghost Adventures, but, you know, I think when it comes to ghost hunting or paranormal or demon, demon hunting, what's the other channel I watch? Proven Demons as well and things like that. I enjoy, I do. I have to admit, they are, like, you know, Colleen Hoover is my guilty pleasure re- Thank you. I know, hugs to you too. Um, is my guilty pleasure read or like author that I <laughs> like it's not the best, best writing, it's not the worst writing either, but it's like it's an easy read and you get through it pretty quick. So it kind of fills in the gap to the next like deep dive book. But where was I going with this? Yes. <laughs> Paranormal channels and things like that are my like little guilty pleasures that I do when when I do sit down and watch something for myself uh, it doesn't happen often believe it or not I don't watch a lot of tv uh these vlogs are great in that sense because I can go off on 110 topics but anyway I don't watch like reality tv I don't watch soaps or nothing like that I'm very bad at the moment of getting into uh tv shows so I tend to watch youtube when I can but now that I am so like I am quite busy one with my own personal life and things like that. I'm trying not to look here. I keep wanting to look at myself. But the one thing when you start making a lot of content for YouTube, you don't consume as much as you would have before. So I, I know that myself because, you know, you're you're thinking the new IDs. And like, I don't post just on YouTube. I also do TikTok and Instagram. 
Um, so if you if you don't follow me, would you please follow me over there? Because I post a lot of funny TikToks, to be fair. Uh, I think I just cracked myself up anyway, but the amount of people that are like, thank you so much for making me laugh. And I, I just love cheering people up. It just it genuinely makes my day. But back to the paranormal. Um, it's just one of these things that when I do get a chance to watch it, I tend to go for that. I do try and watch as much tarot tube and things like that. But you know when you're in the community yourself, you don't watch as much like I have a ridiculous amount in my to watch list I think I have like a spiritual watch list or whatever way I have it phrased I am trying so hard to get through it but sometimes like I have this mental block of sitting down for 40 minutes watching like whether it be a tv show or a youtube video but I could watch like 40 minutes of TikTok. So you go forget that. I feel like that's the way we're being conditioned. That it's short form content that's being pushed. And I'm like, you know, because you cannot learn enough from like a one or two minute video. You know what I'm saying? So when I do have the time, I will try and watch as much in the tarot and spiritual community as I can. But when it is the work that you do work it's not even work really to be honest I, I love doing it but when you make videos and content as such on it you don't tend to want to consume it either now I know some people love love watching it all the time and I think that's great but I know a lot of me also watch other things and that's why I want to do the vlogs as well because I like to have a mix mash of everything in my channel I don't I don't really know how to niche down a lot of people are like oh you should niche down I'm like how the fuck do you do that like I mean honestly I think too many of us here have too many interests is there such a shame no I don't think so but Pat, hello mind back in the room okay so paranormal and things like that I have to some extent a tiny gripe sometimes now it's nothing against certain creators or anything like that this isn't me like being a bitch maybe being a bitch I don't know but what I would say is goodness me I'm just after looking at how long I've been chatting hell I can talk anyway I am always so weary of when people do ghost hunting and things like that I find like sometimes the ones that overreact the most can be a little bit annoying because like, oh, did you hear that I'm like no we didn't fucking hear that because you were making too much noise to even hear what's going on I'm not denying that supernatural things happen or places are haunted or anything like that I'm not denying that at all and I'm not denying that there's lower entities regardless what you call them uh, demons or whatever whatever um I'm not saying that they don't exist I think it would be very foolish and naive of me to think that only all higher beings exist that's that's not realistic that's you know I, I really do feel like if you think only there's all good spirits and stuff like that I'm not saying that there's Oh yeah, no, but there is, I suppose there is like bad spirits, but again, that is such a wide variety topic, I, I feel like I could talk about that forever. Maybe I should start a podcast at this stage with the way I yap on, but what I'm trying to say is sometimes these channels or TV shows and things like that, it's not even just channels, can be so over dramatic and no, that's not me pissing on their parade I mean it is their channel they can do whatever they want you know whatever they want um there are the, the ones that I do watch to be fair are very from what I have watched so far have always been quite respectful to be fair the one thing that did gripe me that time was was the ghost adventures the first episode was it the first episode where they went to Bobby Mackey's well, when he started taunting, I was like, you are asking, <clears throat> excuse me, you are asking to be haunted. I mean, honestly, I, but I'm, some, you know, to be honest, sometimes I'm, I can be a bit of a chicken shit in that sense. Because I'm like, I don't, I don't want anything to attach to me or come back to, you know, come back to my home or <laughs> anything like that. Because like, I don't like that idea. You know, I already tracked a lot of strange, odd, odd like happenings in my life I do not need that either so <laughs> so when he started taunting I was like that's not no no don't don't do that like I'm not please don't do that I, I think that's you know don't do that or you know especially when they're taunting spirits I mean could you imagine if you did that to a person and then you're surprised when they react 
right? We'd say like a human. So like, why would you be surprised when a spirit does it? But then again, I get some people are skeptical. So anyway, I could talk about that for days. I do love, <laughs> I, I forgot how much I love like paranormal and I used to watch a lot of Ouija board stories as well. You know, I remember when I got my first pendulum, I think, and they're showing um, this was when I like first started kind of being more open about what I was into here at home and things like that. Not that they care, they don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't care, but um, I like as in they don't mind. Um, <laughs> my brother was like, get that swinging Ouija board away from me. It's like, that's not okay, but that's not how this works. But I suppose, yes, you could use it over a Ouija board. I wouldn't recommend it. I've never used one. I have no intentions of ever using one. Do let me know in the comments, actually. Have you ever used a Ouija board? And what was your experience? Because, like, I love reading people's experiences. It always gives me chills. Always gives me chills. That door is kind of freaking me out now. See, this is my problem. Like, I love talking hauntings and spooky stories and stuff. And then I'm starting to look around me going, something gonna pop out so like i'm gonna stop now because i gotta go do some work i gotta edit another video for monday yeah for monday yes and you're always trying to keep ahead <laughs> am i able to do that sometimes no other weeks i'm like literally literally last minute but yeah do you go follow me on instagram and tiktok because like that's where you catch me more on like the regular whereas youtube is Two, three times a week is when I'm normally posting. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. And let me know. Do you do you guys love paranormal? Should we do like a video where you ask me questions? That would be cool. That would be cool. Or if you wanted to share some stories and I could share them here on my page. That would be really cool as well. Anyway, all these ideas. I should write all these down. <laughs> Hello, where are we? Um I'm actually up in my sitting room them dogs anyway oh gosh my tummy's in the way um i just finished doing chats <sighs> i thought it was recording here was me yapping away to the camera and i wasn't even recording anyway i've just uploaded on instagram if you want to catch me chatting daily and things like that instagram is the place to follow me on it's all in the description box and I also edit it and upload my video on YouTube. Anyway, what I was chatting about to myself, clearly I wasn't even, well, I do talk to myself. I, anyway, focus, man. Today is a non-focus day. We're going to Cork tomorrow and I'm super excited because we are going to the Book and Craft Fair, the Marina Market Markets. I'm so excited. It is actually in the city. <clears throat> but that's fine because Jamie's driving, so it's okay. <laughs> Like, I don't mind, but I'm excited because it's like the first, it's the first kind of road trip we're doing. No, it's not. Do you know, I don't know. Again, brain, it's just a non-focused day, but I'm super excited because there's going to be like lots of books and I love books, but there's also another shop that I'm going to ask Jamie to go to because they sell decks and things like that. And there's also the works in the same center, even though I think he's already anticipating that anyway. So, so... There could be a haul video yet, possibly. I know some of you guys like watching those. I like watching those. I'm just nosy anyway. Even if I have like some FOMO, I just like watching hauls anyway. Because they're very relaxing. And then just showing this, oh, look what I got. And I'm like, I need that. Where can I get that? <laughs> like, honestly, you can sell me probably anything. It'll take me a while to buy it, but like you probably sell me anything. <laughs> Hello and good morning. <sighs> it's fine. Everything is fine. I'm getting ready. We're getting ready to go. And they're so pretty. Anyway. But stupid here got freaking soap or something. I don't know. Was it was a cat's hair or was it soap? I'm not sure. In her freaking eye. So now my eye stings. And now I have no eyeliner or mascara. And it just, yeah. Anyway, aside from all of that, it's really nice out today, which is good. Because it makes going for a road trip so much nicer. Um, so yeah, we're going to gather the rest of our stuff. It's tough. It's only a day trip. But anyway. And go grab some breakfast and coffee. More coffee. I need more coffee.
Hello and good morning from an extremely tired mind. It is Sunday, so like, you know what that means. I just realized I just forgot the two decks that I normally pull from as well. <sighs> let's let's all take a sip of coffee together. Or whatever whatever you drink first thing in the morning. <sighs> okay, so I know I must I must hop on and talk about yesterday. I have to admit. I thought the fair was going to be a little bit bigger. Um, I just thought there'd be like more variety and things like that. So I didn't actually end on ending <laughs> ended up buying as much as I thought I would. I thought I'd get more books and stuff like that, secondhand books. And to be honest, I personally thought for secondhand books it was a little bit more expensive. You know what? I'll show you the decks and I'll show you what I got yesterday. Um, instead of doing a whole book haul and things like that because to be honest you couldn't do a book haul with three books so I'm gonna go grab these decks and yeah we'll check them so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the decks that I'm working with for the week I know I've done an April's intentions and stuff like that and to be honest I can't even remember I'm I'm just tired today so I can't remember what decks that I choose choose chose and well I just went with what was kind of drawn me in and to be honest I probably am a little bit tired to be doing this but I kind of want to do it now not to get out of the way but because I kind of have a busy a busy Sunday and then into a busy week again so <laughs> we love that <laughs> um so the deck I'll turn you guys around actually the deck that I'm working with is the Tower of the Witch's Garden and then I'm working with the Bealtaine or Beltane Oracle. I know some people say Beltane. Um, and then of course my Sacred Rebels and my Blessed Bee. So I'm going to draw my cards for the week. From these and these are my daily cards. <sighs> and then I'll show you what I picked up yesterday. I stopped it and realised I have two decks as well that I wanted to show you. Of course I went in two. I can't think of the name of the shop. Is it called Books Bookstation? It's written on the front of it. Bookstation. And I picked up two new decks. So I got this one, Gordon Smith, The Healing Spirit. This is only $17.99, which to be fair, in a shop, that's really, really good. And then I know I have a lot of people here that love Celtic and Pagan and things like that. And you're we're all kind of the same, aren't we? We love that kind of witchy stuff. So has anybody seen this? Oh hello, you can see my ring. This was only twelve ninety nine. That's what I wanted to show. I, I wanted to show that that this was only twelve ninety nine. I shouldn't be using my nails now to open this. Uh, I do want to open it because I want. I want to see, and I don't know if I want to do a walkthrough of this or not. Has anybody heard of it? It's Celtic magic. It's a book and card by card deck by Articus Articus. I don't know. I can't even read now. Apparently, late. Oh jeez. Oh, there's a mark of so yes. Open sesame, please. Oh. oh no, I got it, I got it. So I got for 13 euros. That's not bad. This is actually really good. They didn't have as good a selection as I was hoping. Sometimes they're great and I picked up like really cool decks that um on mass market. But yeah, today was kind of one of those. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, okay. I don't know how I'm going to open this if they don't have the little funny tab. So it's a 50 card deck and 128 page guidebook. I thought it sounded really cool. The box is really pretty. And then you have your little pull tab and thing. Okay. Oh, I love the smell of new box. Hmm. Okay. I love the way I opened it up to all the things I spell for lost love. Freedom sword, toasting. Okay, so you have the cards, which are kind of interesting. But for 13 euros, I'm not going to be mad. Okay. Again, for 13 euros, you can't be mad. You really can't be mad. Oh, they're bold. <laughs> 
but like these it'll be like a thing like one of these decks become like a fan favorite you know that kind of a way i don't know why i don't just get ah did i get it i don't think so hold on let me get a scissors okay i'm back i don't know why i keep looking here They are kind of papery. I'm not gonna lie, they're very thin. 13 euros, you guys. Okay, 13 euros. We can't complain. These are the backs. They're kind of cute though. So you have the Lone Piper. Keen. I can't even read that. more than which to be honest I don't think a lot of us see the Morgan as that or the Morgan um as that but listen starting out starting out that's not bad don't focus on me focus on the card thank you so it's really Again, don't focus on me. <laughs> it's all different Celtic. Uh, like if you're standing stone, or standing stones is here, and then they cut the cross. I mean, for 13 euros. It's not bad. It isn't actually bad. Especially like because there's Irish and Scottish as well included here, so and it's 50 cards, so and it shows you how to use it for divination purposes and spell work as well, I think, or magical purposes, even. So, like, really, one second, ta da. The Hill of Tara. So, you know, this, as somebody who's from Ireland, this is cool. And I love, I love these houses. Again, don't focus on me. Thank you. So, do you know what? I don't actually hate it. Would it be an art style that I would personally pick myself or, you know, no, I wouldn't. But like, do you know what? If you really wanted to get into like more Celtic stuff. Now, I don't know how Celtic that is. That feels more Viking. But I suppose that would be, you know, um, 13 euros, 12.99, I mean, I'm not going to be broke on it, wouldn't be returning it or nothing like that, would it be a deck that I'd reach for a whole pile, I don't know, I don't know, I say that now, like, to be honest, the guidebook, the guidebook looks really cute, So, like, you know, I do feel like, especially maybe if you're starting out on your journey, and, um, okay, we'll say, for example, maybe 18 euros is a bit too much for a deck for you, and you just want something a bit more affordable, that maybe is a bit more within your range, and has kind of all the things that you want, like, I feel like for other people that might be absolutely perfect. Now, I haven't worked with it, so I can't give my full opinion, of course. Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's Monday. I swear, it feels like it's already a long week and I haven't even started yet. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. I can't wait for this Mercury retrograde to be done. I got a little bit, I wouldn't say sunburned, sun-kissed. <laughs> Yesterday we went to the beach, as you've probably seen from my previous clip. I'm still trying to get better at recording in public. Um, 
I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. I'm like. I feel like I look super tired. Oh, I do look super tired today. Anyway. And yeah, just <laughs> I feel like there's just so much going on in my brain, and I don't know how to shut it off, and I don't know how to chill out anymore. Is that what your thirties are now? Because I, I I feel like. In my late teens, early 20s, I knew how to kind of have time out and stuff. And I know how to tell people have time out. But when it comes to myself, I'm not, I'm not the best. I feel like I'm really moving the camera a lot. But yeah, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not the best. I sorry, I've been up since about like half six, quarter to seven that way. It's nearly quarter to eight. So I'm up over an, an hour. I should to some extent, <laughs> I should to some extent look a bit more awake, excuse me, but I don't feel it, I feel tired, and maybe, maybe it's the full moon as well, but yeah, we, uh, we went to the beach yesterday, which was really, really nice, it was super nice to be near the ocean, I was saying to Jamie, I was looking back on the cliffs that I took, and I was like, it just looks fake, it looks like it wasn't there at all, and that this is all photoshopped, I promise you, <laughs> I promise you, actually, fun fact, fun fact, if you've watched it, and you've seen the beach, that is the beach myself and Jamie got engaged at, so, no, fun fact, okay, um, but, yeah, <sighs> how is that nearly a year ago, <laughs> time, needs to slow down i'm i'm not ready for time to go this fast stop oh my goodness so yeah anyway um what else oh yeah i'm actually in the sitting room i decided to bring all the bits that i want to work with this morning into the sitting room because i just i just wanted cozy excuse me comfy cozy and just to chill out for a minute and now I gotta go and look after all the animals. Well, they're they're already looked after. <laughs> it's in like clean litter trays and all that stuff. So, yes, and another cup of coffee. <laughs> and I have all these boring things to do. I must go and get diesel today. And um, I don't know what do you call it in the rest of the world. We have diesel and petrol, so I don't know what it is that you guys. Let me know. I'm really outing myself here on the internet, but just to show you what I wear. I mean, honestly, a style icon, no. Probably not. Probably. But this is what I wear when I'm, like, I, I don't go out. Eat, listen, if you go out wearing whatever, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. But do you know when you have, like, bits and housework that you need to do my my hair every day drives me nuts. Um, I really need to get a haircut, but I'm always slow in getting a cut. I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, this is basically what I wear at home. Like I live in plaid shirts, and also look, okay, I'm not flashing you. I got a color yesterday, which is great. I'm super excited because I just I love being tanned and just having that sun kissed look. And I get like I have a million and ten freckles anyway and I think it's hilarious because hold on let me prop you guys up because holding this phone all the time is just okay floating head mend um these ones that like do little freckles like <laughs> across their nose I'm like oh that's so cute that's not reality for those of us that have freckles it's not reality it's like honestly I always <laughs> I would make a joke. I'm like, you know, when I was being created by God, universe, whatever, whatever you believe in, I reckon they had like a paintbrush and they were like, we're going to give her some cute freckles. And they sneezed. And that's what happened. That's what happened with my face. I reckon when they were trying to determine where my little freckles were going, they sneezed. And then the paintbrush just went. And that's why I have freckles everywhere. Everywhere. I keep looking off here. I know, I know, I'll get better. I'll get better. But anyway, so yeah. A style icon, no. No. Maybe one day. 
but I, I don't know. I'm not the best at styling clothes. I never was. I was kind of wore what I liked and what I felt comfortable in. And I think as I get older, like I do realize like I like leggings and I like flannel, flannel shirts and I like tank tops. I have several of these tank tops, by the way. I'm not, I'm not just wearing the same one. I went into pennies and I got like, was it two? Cause I'm never sure if I'm going to like them or not. And then... <laughs> I asked Jamie very kindly, I was like, can we go back to pennies? I need to get more of those tank tops. They were only three euros, so I thought that was really good. And I kind of want to go back and get more because they're actually pretty decent quality for pennies. A lot of people are saying, oh, I know they're going up, but their quality is good. And like, either you're being paid by pennies or what's the story, but like, I definitely hadn't, haven't had the same experience. So, do you know where it's good, actually, if you're in Ireland, is deals. Pep, Pep and Co. I keep saying Pep Co, but it's not. It's Pep and Co. Some of their clothes, not all, I'm not going to say all, but some of their clothes is like really, really good. It's a little bit more expensive than pennies, but you know what? I don't mind. Tesco's have good clothes too, but um, Tesco, would you like to inform me as to why your jeans are nearly like 40, 50 euros? I'm sorry. Excuse me? I'm not paying 40, 50 euros for jeans that may or may not last like you know if I was guaranteed that they were gonna last me till you know the end of my days then sure but fucking hell 50 euros see I don't ah living crisis like I mean even 20 euros for a pair of jeans I'm like mm, are they gonna last are they gonna last right I better get on and go do some work and not just stay here chatting I could I could stay chatting floating head mend Good morning. Okay, so I didn't finish vlogging yesterday because I was just not not in a good head, not in a good headspace, just struggling. This is that because we have this full moon as well coming up tomorrow. It's tomorrow or tonight. I, I'm never really a hundred percent sure. I feel like I'm gonna scald my mouth off this. I don't know. It's not too bad. And I also um, bought myself a cheeky Danish. Um, I took a few bites already. I was going to wait until I get home, but um, by the time I get home now, it's going to be like soggy and it's not. Do I have stuff on my face? Oh my god. But yeah, yesterday was tough, but I feel like there's kind of, uh, I don't want to say a purge, but I suppose a purge of shit that's just coming up basically in a nutshell, right? Just keeping it real and things like that. And I feel like, you know, We've had the eclipse, Mercury retrograde, and what was the other thing? We had one more thing. I got sidetracked there. The full moon. The full moon. One second, let me gather myself and then I will come back. Sorry that the top is in the way, but anyway. Yeah, I I don't know why I got so, um, I get a little bit funny when I'm like recording in public, I'm just not used to it, and again, like I said, I'm from a small town, so, um, but yeah, this energy this week is definitely bringing up a lot of shit that I hate to admit to myself, but I know, I know, I have suppressed and just pushed down and just not bothered, and it's not even that bothered, it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot to deal with and things like that. I just, I have so much going on right now um, that just <laughs> dealing with emotions right now. So I'm journaling a lot since yesterday. It's not a lot. Oh no, it's not that much. It's a big, it's a big bottle. Um, I'm journaling a lot to try and process the absolute utter shite that's going on in my head and Jamie's working this evening um, so I will probably do a full moon ritual I hope you find water relaxing because that's what 
what you're getting today. Um, yeah, a full moon ritual is probably needed, all right. Releasing anyway, whatever about doing a full moon ritual, definitely doing a ritual in of itself is super important. So can this energy chill out now after Mercury Mercury retrograde? Mercury retrograde. Why is that hard for me to say today? I can't I can't even talk today. Anyway. And I'm seeing stuff as well. So this is great. <laughs> no, I thought I'd seen something fly last past past the window. It's probably just a bird. <sighs> Where's my sun gone as well? Like honestly, we had beautiful suns out and everything yesterday and it's now grey skies and dull. I want to move to a warm, sunny country. So if you have any suggestions, send them my way. Please. Please. Hey everyone. So, can you tell by my face that I've done a really nice ritual? I feel like it has not... Maybe a year or two. I won't say ten years. I might be a bit too um, ambitious. I need to put that back on my, my other hand. But... Oh, I... I feel so much more chilled now. I can't guarantee I will be chilled tomorrow, but for now I'm chilled, and for now I'm chilled. I actually made time to do a full moon ritual. I haven't, I haven't done that in a while, and so I had, I had every intention of doing like a whole uh, writing down. I had, I had the intention to write down all the things that I want to let go of and release. But then I did like such a really nice meditation and. I did some I did some journaling already this morning. I think it was this morning. Yeah, this morning. Of just whatever brain crap, brain gunk was stuck in my head and I just fecked it on the paper and <laughs> that's my dad talking to the cats. And just brain dumped. That's all I did. And then I did a really, really nice reading for myself. I still have my cards laid out and I'm just gonna leave them there for the night. I have no intentions of cleansing any crystal because my back is kind of a little bit sore now from being seated too long, too long. And so I am going to, what was I going to do? I am going to blow out all my candles. But before I do that, I wanted to show you what my office looks like. Kind of, I would say it's nighttime, but I actually have blackout blinds here. And so it, it's so super cozy. So I'm, I'm going to stop this and so this is what my desk looks like with all the fairy lights and things like that and I'm trying to see will this calm my little selenite lamp but no the selenite lamp is quite bright and there are my cards there's my journal that I worked in excuse me they're the two decks that I worked with so it was the enchanted for Hoxa and the healing waters oracle and then my craft room. I want to put up a curtain here so bad. And that's my ancestral or, um, altar. And, and then this is my altar. And it's still super cozy. And oh. Oh, thank you for brightening that. <laughs> So that's what it kind of looks like in the evening, even though, like I said, I have uh, a blackout blind. So, see, <laughs> it's an absolute godsend. It really is because it just makes the room nice and cozy. And I like when I'm doing rituals to have everything cozy. The only thing is the heat up here is something else. So I'm going to blow out all my candles and make sure everything is out and that it's completely safe. And yeah, I'm just going to chill. Charlie again. I am going to just chill for the evening because now I'm feeling just uh, so comfy cozy so I just want to chill out. <laughs>